Hey guys, Phalaris here. This is going to be a more advanced follow-up to the Grub Path video. If you haven't seen it, there will be a link in the video description down below. I had some really good questions in the comments regarding potential use cases and weaknesses in the path. The most common question I received was, what about Top Crab? If we're fighting for grubs, isn't it bad to give up the Top Crab and have the vision lingering for the enemy team when the grubs spawn? Yeah, it is. We would rather have this crab, and if we can get it, we should. If you have strong solo laners and a decent jungle matchup, and you want to play for the grubs, you should simply clear from bot to top. You'll be favored in a fight for the crab, and ending topside means you can gank or cover your solo lanes, and ensure that they get good recalls off before the grubs spawn. You should not use the grub path in this situation. A standard bot to top full clear would just be better. However, sometimes you simply can't expect to get that crab anyway. If you have the weaker early solo lanes, and you also have a mediocre jungle matchup, pathing top expecting to get that crab is basically suicide. You're not favored in the contest, and you also run the risk of getting invaded on your second buff before the crab even spawns. So yeah, we would love to get the crab, but sometimes that's just not realistic. If you want to contest the grubs, it'd be better to run the grub path and secure yourself a safe first rotation and the level 5 advantage instead. Additionally, Ending your clear bot side means you can choose to skip the bot crab to gank or cover your bot lane, setting up a potential recall and roam to grubs from your support later on. Hopefully, these combat advantages mean the enemy having vision simply won't matter much. Now this leads to the next problem. If our top side is so weak, why are we fighting for the grubs? And the answer is, you don't. If your top side is at a significant disadvantage, then you generally want to clear top to bot instead. This way, when the enemy jungler does the grubs, we have the potential to either handshake the drake or gank his bot lane. You cannot expect to successfully fight for the grubs every game. Sometimes you just have that Kale or Nasus top or that Malzahar or Kassadin mid, and you need to give up some early objectives while they're still scaling up. But other times, fighting grubs can be fine even if your top side is disadvantaged on your first rotation. Some matchups just have a bad level 1 dynamic and can't generate push early, so it's dangerous for you to path into them, but by 5 minutes, these lanes have more or less evened out. For example, if I'm playing, say, Hecarim into Viego, my mid is playing Fizz into Twisted Fate, and my top is playing, say, Darius into Teemo, I know there's a pretty good chance that if I path top early, I'm going to get invaded. Neither of my solo lanes are expected to generate early push, and Viego is a jungler that's happy to look for early invades onto Hecarim. However, by 5 minutes, if I'm coming in level 5 to Viego's level 4 on Grub Spawn, I think this 3v3 is very playable. And as Hecarim, I'm not really happy to give up the Grubs for free to try to handshake Drake, as my champion is excellent at clearing Grubs, but poor at clearing Dragon. Additionally, with solo lanes like Twisted Fate and Teemo, the enemy team comp is clearly skewed towards split pushing and side laning and giving them the grub buff for free would make them much more effective at doing so. So as you can see, we have three basic farm path options. Path top, if it's clearly advantageous, path bot, if we cannot fight for grubs or would prefer the drake, and consider the grub path otherwise. As a caveat, you can do the grub path in reverse with a wolf start to play for the first drake as well in the same kind of scenario, where you're scared to path bot early due to invade threat but you still want to play for the Drake. Hopefully, this clears up some of the major use cases for the Grub Path versus a more standard linear opening. Now let's move on to what to do if you can't seem to reach the Crab on spawn when you try to execute the Grub Path. This can either be because your champion is simply too slow, or because your clearing isn't refined enough. The Grub Path is very tight on timing. First off, if your champion is significantly too slow, just don't run the path, it's not worth forcing. If you're a little slow, I would consider either doing a standard opening or possibly skipping the first crab in favor of recalling. If there's threat of an invade on your second spawn raptors, it's not worth being late and losing them. First crab isn't that valuable as it gives 80% reduced experience, and being on time with items to contest your raptors is more important. But if there's no threat of your raptors getting invaded, being a little late on your recall isn't a big deal. And lastly, what do we do if we want to break off the path to gank or cover? Even though the grub path is very inflexible, as a jungler you should never be closed off to adapting to the situation. So I put together a basic graphic of the timers at which you can adapt from the grub clear. 
First off, if top lane is extremely gankable or absolutely requires cover, you can do so after your Gromp or Blue instead of crossing down for your Red. You would then recall and do a full sequence from Krugs the Gromp into the Grubs. If your bot lane is extremely gankable or requires cover, you can do so instead of doing the Crab and then recall into your Raptors. These are both very situational breakoffs and you would prefer to just farm, but a good jungler needs to be adaptable and planning out acceptable breakoff points into your clears is a good habit with any path, not just the grub clear. Now, there's even more considerations than what I covered in this video. When you reach high ELO jungling, there's just more and more layers of depth that you have to consider. Vision is a big one, for example. What do you do if you're spotted, as a heads-up jungler may invade your red and krugs since you're quite late to them? Additionally, flex path value. With the standard buff start clear, you're for the most part locked into a linear clear. Whereas with the Raptor start, you have the option of clearing the rest of your red side jungle, heading up to the wolves like in the grub path, or even crossing to invade the enemy blue side, depending on what info you gain at level 1. Perhaps you see where the enemy jungler started because of a ward, or due to his laner's leashing, and that changes which direction you head after Raptors. The deeper you get into jungling and the more skilled your opponents, the more and more possibilities and variables you have to consider as a jungler. At the end of the day, the grub path is just one option among many. I encourage you to be as inquisitive as possible and really think about what kinds of paths make sense in what kinds of situations. Even if you never end up doing the grub clear, that type of open-mindedness and attention to detail is invaluable for a jungler. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.